Lions Star. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door, no I way, not gonna I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. happens, just put your four-legged friend in the refrigerator or freezer. Then call Pet Stuffers. We'll be there within a week to pick him up, and in less than a month, we'll be back as good as new. Through an ancient Egyptian miracle process uh, called taxidermy, you and your best friend will always be together. Yeah, that's a good dog. Pet Stuffers, when you just can't let go. And coming soon, grandparents forever. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. 
always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And list. that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fest. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Wall Scott. Throws a passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, the another day. amigo. How do we find you? <coughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get now. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. The drinks. Maybe. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. We had a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl. If you did some visible labor, cut your hair short. See you around, handsome. For example, you mustn't get sucked sure you into will. the... Patriarchy. But I like dating. Having someone buy you dinner is... You hate men a lot. And you think so? Good. Then hold... Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. You were talking about yourself? Of course. The ego is a dangerous thing, especially in my case. I'm a young man. Anyway, so what I did was dress up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you. Oh. I spent all day on a roof talking about us. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to women. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So, what's the name of your? Sometimes Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking for some English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. 
You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way! One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops a couple of blocks away. Wants to propagate conservatism. I don't have blonde hair. Not yet, Amy. Not yet. Did you know men drink beer and smoke cigarettes and wear hats? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you must have read my book. <laughs> I discovered a lot of things. I was also a police and an untrained brain surgeon. And they're all the same. All women haters. But just because men like sports and hats doesn't mean they hate women, does it? You self-hating fool, of course it does. The media, meaning oh, you, falsely portrays feminists as bra burners, outdated, combat boot-wearing bad mothers. Why don't you take your top off right now, Amy, huh? Tell them you won't be censored anymore. No, I I'm getting a little freaked out here. Uh, the, uh, hit the, let This fall, a new hard-hitting police drama is coming to Friday night. He was a well-to-do cop transferred to a troubled precinct downtown. His new partner is a space traveler with a passion for justice. It's Yucky and the Alien. Look, you might vaporize dissidents in Alpha Centauri, but in this precinct, we do it by the book. I'm so terribly sorry, Captain. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Don't miss this one-of-a-kind police drama. They're fighting crime the hardest. In designer clothes with a I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. The skills I've learned is a pro Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no. No! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Dumb Florida moron. But rather than the I am principle. I mean, really. You might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy. That's the thing about people, they're so half-hearted. Pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their thoughts. That woman, that lady, as I bet she likes to be on to, is really a self pity a failure in the man's world. Yeah, why, I bet she's never even attacked a man with a fat of boiling oil. But she said she tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me, I write books. Okay, next caller. Michaela, I'm a huge fan. Are you? this is happening you remember Giorgio you remember he's innocent ah! we're all just people and it's idiots like you who cause the problems in this world in the name of reclaiming some false ideals elaborating on and on about gender politics valley you can wear leather and public why, you misogynist. No, you're insane. You hate yourself because you're a failure. You're an appalling academic and about as intellectual as a hemorrhoid. Goodbye. Well, uh... <clears throat> uh... Well, it's nice to see my work has stimulated such healthy debate. Uh, Michaela, she hated you. No, not since poor dear was embarrassed. Not very used to the cut and thrust of academia. I thought she expressed herself poorly and didn't know what she was saying. Probably burned her husband's cakes or something. And he's like, okay. Where you living, girl? Oh, yeah, so see ya. She's ready. Uh. Yo, man, I still got payments to make on this. Remember Giorgio? You remember he's innocent? <laughs> hey Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. 
to a merry... Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop on me, man. Get yourself a body bag, strap yourself in, start making friends the American way. And Exploder. Evacuator Part 2. Rated PG, may include the credit card. So, hello. Sir. Don't you? No, I haven't got a clue. It means we've all got to start caring for one another like family. Okay, so let me get this straight. Like, my brother is a cockroach, and my dad is a pigeon, and my mom is a fly. Is that right? Well, sort of genicalistically speaking, but you're bang on, love. And you know what that also means? Uh, no. Thank you. Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. Damn I know. Chicken. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay. Good day, senor. Well. 